Hello and welcome back to another video here from Edge Performance in Norway. So today we have a um, zero-timed Rotax 912 ULS, so standard 100 horse engine fitted with our uh, 4 to one injection system. Uh, this engine has not got no other mods to it except for the fuel injection um, and then a proper uh, rebuild obviously that's been done here. So, like I said, the engine has been zero-timed, um, rebuilt crankshaft, new bearings, new seals, new pistons, rings, uh, we've done machine work to the valves, valve seats, rebuilt the gearbox and um, obviously the ignition leads and uh, everything else that goes into one of these overalls. So we've just done a couple of pulls here on the dyno, gotten the uh, air fuel ratio dialed in and um, we'll do I run a few guys, so you can key, see kind of what performance we're making. So I'll get you zoomed in here on the dyno screen. So we'll make a um, dyno pull and uh, we'll have a look at the uh, numbers. So that's full power set and we'll release it now it's not bad at all we'll have a look here on the uh, data recording we did Let's see where we're at So here we have our uncorrected power numbers. So 115.4 horsepower with a peak torque of 143.7. Um, we obviously got good manifold pressure today. We have um, negative 800 feet density altitude. So that's kind of what gives us this artificially high number. So if we go and have a look at our Dean corrected numbers, we still have a um, impressive 109.2 horsepower at 5800 RPMs with a peak torque of 137.2. Um, torque curve here you can see is, is fairly flat. Um, obviously we're running a wide open pull, uh, nice and steady, even a far spread. We can see here on the right our um, crankcase pressure, which increases from 0.19 to 0.25, so 0 0.06 bars of increase in crankcase pressure from 3300 to uh, 5800 RPMs, which is a great thing that tells us that the engine is properly broken in. We have good uh, sealing between the rings and the cylinders, and um, things are looking very good. Uh, oil pressure is nice and steady, it's increasing with RPMs, so that tells us we've got steady. Steady good oil increase or pressure increase, uh, little or no cavitation, and um, you also have a nice cold 60 degrees Celsius intake air temp. And um, yeah, not bad for a stock 100 horse with EFI. So it just goes again to show that the fuel injection itself actually does add a significant amount of extra power. Uh, in addition to the extra benefits that fuel injection will give you. So this engine is all set, all ready to go, it ships out to customer abroad, it's going into a Super Patrol amphibious plane. Um, it has all the latest features here with closed loop uh, Lambda, sorry. Uh, it's got all the limb functions built in, so it'll run without air temp, map print, uh, manifold pressure sensor, TPS, and uh, so pretty nice we set up. And uh, just another good way to save yourself some some money over buying new engines. Um, so if you're keen on a um, quote no overhaul, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Uh, we do regularly get in some 912s, some 914s, and uh, besides just doing stock overhauls, we can obviously fit them with some uh, yeah fuel injection or some other performance enhancing components. So thanks for tuning in, and see you guys again soon. Bye.